Hey guys, today we're taking a look at DVIS, which is a really interesting library by a guy named Alan Kang uh, that allows you to use what Alan calls declarative data visualization. And we will take a look at uh, what he means by that in just a second. Uh, I do want to point out one caveat to this library is that Alan wrote this and published it to GitHub around September 2012. And I do not believe it's been updated since. Uh, and uh, where that can become a problem is uh, it has a couple dependencies, one of them being jQuery, uh, the other ones being uh, uh, the Google Data Visualization Library, as well as D3 in some cases. And uh, if you don't have those added to your page in script tags before the DVIS library is called, it will try to call them from uh, URLs that exist right now, but may not exist in the future. Uh, so that's kind of a buyer beware uh, uh, issue that you need to be aware of. Uh, other than that, it's a really cool library. So let's go ahead and try it out here. Uh, the way we kick it off is with just kind of a standard uh, jQuery doc ready statement, and then we run dviz.run. Uh, so once we've got that in place, we can uh, start to declare our data. And the way we do that is we need a div with a class of dviz-content. And once we've got that, we can declare our data. And uh, the way we do that is we have a pre with a code inside of that, sorry, a code tag inside of that. And then outside of the pre, we have a paragraph tag with another code tag there. Now in this first code tag, this is where we declare our data. So let's say person and val, and we'll say Joe with a val of 10, uh, Alice with a val of 15, and Jim with a val of 20. Uh, now down here in our code, and actually just so you see, if we run that right now, nothing happens. Uh, in this second code tag, in parentheses, with an at symbol, we declare the type of chart we want to generate. So in this case, I want to generate a bar chart with these values. I can run that, and we get this bar chart. So here's the 10 for Joe, the 15 for Alice, the 20 for Jim. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I wanted to make that a column chart, I just change that to column, and we get a column chart. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's add a second val, call it val2, and we'll say 15 here, 20 there, and 25 there. Run that, and now we've got two charts per person. And just so we can see you know, some color distinction here, uh, we'll just keep increasing these, so 25, 30 on that one. Run this one more time. And now we've got you know varying colors for each of the different uh, charts or bars, and we get all the standard kind of uh, you know you can select these things. We get all the standard interactions that you would expect from either D3 or the Google Data Visualization Library. Uh, another thing that we can add onto this is an object where we can say is stack is true. Run that really quick, and now we've got these all stacked, which is awesome. And if we go back to a bar chart, we can utilize the exact same object and make all these stacked. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, we can do an area chart with this data. Here's our area chart. Uh, and then we can do a line chart where the stack won't really make sense. So we just say line, run that, and now we've got a line chart. Uh, I find it very cool that you can just use this declarative HTML to generate these charts without a lot of scripting. Uh, like I said, you know, there's definitely some things I would prefer uh, I, would, I would prefer there was more activity on this or a way to override some of the defaults in some cases. Uh, but at a glance, you have to admit, it's, it's a really interesting take on generating charts, especially for somebody who doesn't want to do a lot of scripting. Uh, this is a no-brainer. You just drop it in and you're good to go. Uh, so that's DVIS. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good one.